Hello, welcome back to It's Whatever. Today, we're gonna see if you could kill a large animal with a throwing knife. And I have with me the shoulder bone of a full-size steer. So I'm gonna be starting from light knives up to the heaviest knife I have, and we'll see if it can penetrate and or break this bone and possibly kill a steer with a throwing knife. Okay, so I got my steer set up. First knife four and a half ounces it's got a good point on it and a blade that's not super sharp but it is got an edge on it we're gonna do half spin with this one see what it does knife wasn't fully rotated around but it hit right there and it did punch through a little bit right here. Now we have a six and a half ounce knife. Fairly good tip on it. I'm gonna be throwing a no spin. Let's see what this does. Okay, let's see. Not in there real tight, pretty loose, but it did punch through. And you can see through the hole. And that's the thicker side, so bone's a little bit thicker. This is the bottom. This is supposed to be the bottom, it's upside down. So thicker side, thinner side down there. And it was right right in the middle, punched a hole in it. This is a seven ounce knife. We'll be throwing no spin. Let's see what this one will do. Okay. A lot further in than the other one. So, oh yeah. That's even a better one. A lot more damage. And it wasn't even a perfect hit. It hit a little bit to the upward side. A little bit to the upward side. And then rotated up and down so it actually widened it out. Okay, the next knife in the lineup, nine ounces, right? Almost like a flathead screwdriver tip, pretty darn sharp. Also thin up to at least this point. So we'll see what this does. Dang, that one hit hard. Man, punched in. Let's see if we can see behind there. And stuck into the log. So let's remove it. If the log wasn't there, probably would have done worse. Wow. Just peeled that bone back, went right through it. That is a little bit thinner than the uh, other knives because it hit so low but a little bit thinner, not much. I can't even get it out. Okay, there it goes. Wow. A nice, massive, square hole. Right through the bone. Let's just say the... Uh, the steer's not feeling great after that one, but I don't think he's quite dead yet. The bone is really the only thing that's stopping the throwing knife. I've thrown at meat before in different videos. It goes through like four, five, six inches of meat, no problem. Sticks into the backboard, no problem. Slices through like it's butter. Weight is the key. Last throwing knife, 10.5 ounces. Quite a bit bigger than the other ones. Still has a good tip on it. All right, I'm gonna be throwing this one half spin. We'll see what this does.
Okay. Weight wins. Punch through into the log and that wonderful crunching noise in the slow motion video of it going through. Come out. That's a mighty gash. Rip some of the bone off the back. And a big huge slice up front. Also in the thinner part of the bone, but still crazy. I think the log's stopping it. Let's try it without the log. Okay, here we are. It crushed the bone. I mean, look at that, broke, broke a big old chunk of bone off. Punched through, the only thing that stopped it was the wide end of the knife on the back. Okay, always, the wind is always picking up. Started when it's sunny, now it's windy and raining. Could you kill an animal, a large animal, or hunt with a throwing knife? I think absolutely. This, the only thing that stopped this knife was the uh, the larger tail kept it from going through the bone because it had lost some energy by that point if you made this the same size all the way down and put a blade on the front sharpened up the blade it would go through and have no problem killing it